Hey, this is Richard Dega with Chattanooga Song Circle. We are back. First show is April 29th at Barking Lakes Theater Outdoors. We decided to go big. They say go big or go home. So we're going big with Lon Eldridge. Lon, hi. Howdy. Yeah, and uh, hey, you know, you've played different places around town, of course. What's different about playing at a place like Chattanooga Song Circle? Well, I like the song circle and, and Barking Legs specifically uh, is also this way, but um, you know, you get something that you don't get with like if I was playing at a, like at a pub or some kind of place that, you know, music is not the focus, you know, there's a lot of distractions, there's a lot of chatter going on. But uh, with the song circle and Barking Legs, you know, it's really a listening room atmosphere and uh, you can really key in on the music and, and have a more, uh, you know, intimate experience with the music. How would you describe your music? Someone asked you, well, on what kind of music do you play? What do you tell them? Well, I guess the best way to describe it is um, I play in early 20th century styles, um, ranging from, you know, country blues to Western swing to uh, old time and jug band and hokum and, and stuff like that. So it's really across the board as far as genres. And I, I write original stuff in those styles and do a few standards and covers also but that that kind of hits all the bases i think now you've played uh not just domestically but you've played in europe and different places what's the uh the coolest venue that you've ever played at oh man that's that's a tough one um hmm i played this stage uh outdoors in croatia one time uh, it was like this geodesic dome that had like sheets on the back of some, uh, on the panels on some of them and that would you know catch the lighting and uh, it was really cool I was playing there with a bunch of musicians from all over the world uh, and so that that was pretty neat too and it was in it was in like a ninth century castle courtyard in the middle so that was pretty wild have you uh, have you ever played any venue more prestigious than Chattanooga song <laughs> Now be careful with the answer because we could still cancel, but I'm just... <laughs> well, define prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you be the... <laughs> now, I will say... Of course not. You know, I the will... answer is clearly no. But... <laughs> no, I, I love the uh, I love the uh, the clientele at, at uh, and the crowd at, uh, at Chattanooga Song Circle. They're, they're really there and interactive, and uh, uh, that's my favorite thing is interacting with an audience, you know. I, I hate being wallpaper, so. <laughs> I know that all of your fans out there are dying to know the answer to this. Who is your favorite Beatle and why? Mm. I'll, I'll rank them from one to four. <laughs> Number one, Paul McCartney. Two, George Harrison. Uh, three, John Lennon. Four, Ringo Starr. And no love for Ringo. I don't. Understand. I won't say I don't have any love for Ringo. He just has the the fourth the fourth most love fourth most love okay <laughs> i just i love paul mccartney's uh old-timey style of of songwriting that uh that because his dad was an, an arranger and band leader and so that kind of rubbed off on him too when he was composing so i appreciated it a whole lot well speaking of music can you play just a little bit for us to give people just a taste so they could wet their whistle yeah i'll, I'll do one here that this is my my most recent one and uh, I think it's appropriate since we're sitting here in uh, Orchard Knob Park and you can see Chattanooga. Yeah, and I'm going to do And it's 360 all the way around. I'm going to do this right here. I don't know how it's going to come out in camera. This is my first time at this place. And this place is, is super cool. Yeah, so this one is, uh, this is called Chattanooga, My Home Sweet Home. That's the town for me Way down in eastern Tennessee No matter where I choose to roam I just can't stay away too long Near a farm, my garden star And my home will always be And there's a girl there that has my heart And I know that we will never part With your rolling hills and your mountain streams You mean the whole wide world to me
town, that's the town for me. Way down in eastern Tennessee. No matter where I choose to roam, I just can't stay away too long. Near a farm, my guiding star, and my home will always be. And there's a girl there that has my heart. And I know that we will never part. Streams, you mean the whole wide world to me, Chattanooga, my home sweet home. Chattanooga, my home sweet home. Folks, there you have it. Barking Legs, April 29th, Thursday, 7 o'clock. You can get tickets at barkinglegs.org. Tickets are $12.50 uh, in, $12 in advance, $15 at the door. Honestly, they're not worth $12.50. They're worth a lot more than that. But that's what we're selling them for. So go to BarkingLegs.org, get your ticket, and uh, hope to see you there, right? Yeah, see you all there. Bye-bye.